In our case example that we're working through, we want to sift out some of these bus stops um, because mapping the accessibility to these bus stops, uh, we just have too many of them, and so we want to create a subset. To do that, we're going to open up the attribute table so we can take a look at the data. And I'm going to move my map back in here and kind of zoom to the layer so we can see everything. But in here, um, one of the things we want to double check for is let's uh, say that we are going to assess the accessibility of wheelchair boarding at bus stops. And so zeros mean that there's no wheelchair boarding and ones mean that yes, in fact, they are wheelchair compatible. And so we could do a bus stop uh, search of that sort. We can uh, further compound that by adding a shelter or whether it has a shelter to stay out of the rain, etc. And so uh, let's go ahead and select by attribute. So we're going to make sure we have our layer selected here, Madison bus stops. We're going to go to our map tab and we're going to go to select by attributes. Now it'll automatically populate with the Madison bus stops because it's the active layer, but you could change out the drop down menu um, if you want a description of the tools function you can look at the hover over the question mark or click on it and then for each item you can hover over the little eye for more information so it and say describes all the different options and things that you need to add so we're gonna um, you could you could write an SQL statement but we're gonna add a clause where we interact through a uh, kind of a form based interface so we're gonna go and do wheelchair boarding we're going to equals to and then this drop down menu will show us our options. Now we could just have typed in one as well, um, but the drop down option I find very helpful for a long list of different things. So if you're looking for uh, different land covers or land uses and you don't remember the spelling of all of them, um, that'll auto populate, which is very nice. And we're gonna add a clause and we're gonna run. And in our attribute table, we still have 975, which is a lot. So what if we sifted even further and looked for a, uh, we're going to just use the same layer. We're going to create a new selection, but we're going to add an additional clause that says, and um, has a bus shelter equal to one. And we're going to add that clause. Now we're going to uh, run this again to see are there in fact any that do and yes there's 184 so let's kind of focus on that now a couple other buttons I want to show you while we're here is if you wanted to clear your expression you can use the eraser you can validate it if you're typing SQL and you just want to make sure you've got all the commas and apostrophes and stuff in the right place you could open an expression if you've saved one that you run multiple times and then of course the save button so we're going to work with these so we have 184 uh, out of 1773 selected and I want to just make this its own data set so I'm going to right click I am going to go to data export features um, the input features you know my Madison bus stops my output feature class I am going to double check where I am going and so I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to just call this uh, bus stop selection. I want to click save. And then I'm going to click run. And so now I'm going to go up and clear my selection. I turn off my all the bus stops and now I have my bus stop selection there of the ones that we just selected for. And that's how we kind of do our selection and kind of winnow our data down to a usable data set. And now we're, uh, next video, we're going to cover how to start up and set up the network analysis. Thanks.